thank you for coming to Pay the Pool Man. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about our new expense area and how it could keep you organized and efficient. To get there, you're going to go ahead and access the expense area the same way that you always have by clicking the More tab and then the Expense tab. So right away we can see that it loads up our expense dashboard, which gives us a couple of uh, quick views of our last six months of our expense history. If we have any goals that we have set in the program, um, as far as sales totals, service totals, or even for our expenses, it's gonna track those right here. And we'll go through how to add those into the system. And so really, this dashboard is just going to give you a couple of quick views. Uh, it's going to give us our top six expenses. And then also it's going to show us our most recent expenses that we've added into the system here. And so uh, let's go ahead and start by viewing our expenses. And on the left here, we can go to our expense list. And we can see right away there's a lot of data here for us to look at. And so no matter if you're on a phone, a tablet, or a computer, you're going to be able to access this information uh, all in the same way. So right away we can see that uh, we still give you the option to keep uh, images with your expenses. So we can go ahead and view invoices, uh, receipts, anything that we put into the system here. And then uh, we have the ability to uh, also tag the vendors, the type of expense, uh, what categories, and then for further sorting purposes, if you want, you can add as many custom tags as you want. Okay, And so uh, as we can see here, uh, we can scroll down and we have a, a couple of these action buttons. What these action buttons are is when uh, we hook up our bank account and then we download our bank transactions. So whichever bank we choose and we go ahead and select a date range for the transactions that we want to do. Maybe you do this once a month, maybe you do it once a week. Uh, we can go ahead and click the Get Transactions button and it'll load all of those transactions in, into the program um, and allow you to go ahead and make those changes, right? So uh, a really cool feature that we have is the ability for it to auto categorize the expenses that you import from the bank. So uh, it, all you would need to do is click on this little cog and then turn on the auto assign category. Once you turn that on, uh, then when you go down and we select this uh, customer here, or not customer, we select this vendor here, uh, the BP gas station. So if I go ahead and I just randomly put, so now uh, if we go ahead and start to take care of some of these, like our AAA insurance here, we can go ahead and uh, categorize that by going to and selecting one of our uh, new categories here. And if you don't have one that uh, you know you need, you can go ahead and add that new category here, just as you did before. Um, but let's go ahead and assign this to a auto insurance. And so we can see right away, it's been categorized and any other transaction that's listed below, that's gonna go ahead and mark those uh, the same as well. That way you don't have to keep marking the same uh, ones from the same vendor. So if you're going to Pool Corp or you're going to PWP or any of the other wholesale houses, uh, this is really gonna help speed it up, okay? And then let's go ahead and let's add a tag here. And once again, tags are not uh, required, but it does help if you want to kind of categorize things by certain uh, subcategories and then be able to find them in that way. So uh, we can see right here, we just have some basic tags, but we'll add a new one and we'll just say, uh, we'll say auto. And so now uh, we have that new tag that's been added here. Um, so now when we search for auto, we'll go ahead and be able to find that. Okay. So now uh, if we want to go ahead and manually add in an expense, uh, all you have to do is click this plus button here and then we can go ahead and add a new expense. Now this plus button would take you to this screen or you can also click on this button right here. So uh, we give you two different ways to get to where you gotta go. Um, Whichever is easier for you, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And so let's go ahead and add a transaction. 
let's say it's today uh, let's say it's a uh, 91 Express lane and because those are expensive let's just say it's $500 category let's go ahead and add a new category because why not and we're gonna say it's an auto expense. We're gonna assign it to a uh, expense category. There we go. Now it's selected. We can put in a description if we want. We can also put a tag in uh, right here uh, if we wanted to. Um, and then we can attach a, uh, a image. So uh, this is great uh, to be able to kind of keep these files online. That way you don't have to uh, store them somewhere else. Um, if, if you're comfortable with that. Okay, so we went ahead and selected our image and uh, let's go ahead and save that expense. Okay, so we can now see that our image is sitting here. Uh, we have our vendor listed, we have the amounts and whatnot. And uh, just so you know, these uh, extra little uh, descriptions these are added by uh, bank imports. So when the bank categorizes these for you, uh, we, we go ahead and add those in there for you. So uh, that is why they look a little different. And now let's go ahead and look at our search options, right? So we've given you a lot of uh, different ways to find your expenses. And so uh, right away, we can activate our uh, date range. So we can pick a starting date and then we can put in an end date if we want. Um, next, we can go ahead and search by expense. So by the names that are listed here, we can just type them in there. Um, and we can also do it by category, right? So we can do types or categories, either which one. And then lastly, we can search by tags. So this is where it comes in real handy to keep these subcategories uh, if you want to go ahead and do that. It is not required, uh, but you know we do give you that option. And then lastly, of course, you do have the ability to delete any expense out of the system by clicking the delete can right here. And then you can edit your, those expenses as well. Maybe you want to change the image, uh, you know, anything like that. You can do it right from here. So next, we're going to talk about a really cool option that we're adding, and it's called quick receipts. So Let's say that you are at the wholesale house or maybe you're making a run into Ace Hardware or Lowe's, somewhere that you don't normally uh, you know, go to and you wanna go ahead and not forget to log that expense. Uh, you know, and so often you know, we're always on the run being pool companies uh, that little bits of paperwork get lost. And so the goal here is to not lose paperwork, right? And so uh, what we could do is before we leave, uh, wherever that location is, we can pull out our Pay the Pull Man app, go to our quick receipts, and then we can go ahead and add a quick receipt. And what a quick receipt is, is it'll take an image of, it'll take a picture of a receipt or an invoice, anything that you want to log at a later time, and then it'll store it and hold it off to the side until you're ready. So maybe you know, once a month you go through all your expenses, well, you can create this long list of these quick receipts that when it's time for you to deal with them, you can go through them one by one to add them. So let's go ahead and just say that this one is Pool Corp. And let's add a receipt. Okay, so now we have selected our image to add and we'll hit add receipt. And now we can see here it's gonna be sitting in our pending uh, quick receipts. So, uh, you know, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a big long uh, list of items here. So if I was to add another one real quick. We could see how they get stacked up and you can just leave them be. So uh, when you're ready to deal with that expense, at the time that you want, they'll be sitting here waiting for you. And then we can go in and we can start to add them into the system, All right? So now we'll go ahead and we'll select a, uh, a vendor. And so right away, we'll add another one and we'll call it PWP and we'll add that vendor. And then we'll go ahead and put in the amount. Maybe this one was for $1,000. 
category. Maybe this one is for cost of goods sold. And let's go ahead and okay, so now we can see that that expense has been moved from our quick receipts over to our expense list. And all the items have been listed and we can view that information if we want to. Um, and then if we go back, our other ones are still sitting there. So once again, this is just another quick way that uh, Pay the Pool Man's trying to help you out to let you keep doing what you need to do at the time that it's appropriate to do it. That way, when it's time to deal with expenses, you have the time to do it. And if maybe you have somebody working in the office, you can basically capture these uh, receipts out in the field and then they can do them in the office. So a uh, really great new feature. Next, we're gonna see how to add a income or expense goal. And so currently we already have some added here, um, but let's go ahead and let's delete one out and let's go ahead and add another one in. So if I hit the plus button here, okay, we can go ahead and set some goal types. And so uh, we'll go ahead and try to track our expenses. And the reason you would set a goal for your expense is really to try to stay under that goal. Um, it's kind of like putting a, a brick wall and you want to you want to make sure and keep an eye on your expenses to really uh, try to manage those as, as good as you can. So let's go ahead and change this to 15,000. We're going to add that goal. Then we can see here we had our goal year set for our expenses. Then if we go up to our dashboard, uh, it's all been changed around. So we have our 15,000 listed right here um, for our, our total goal. And Lastly, we're going to go into how to link a bank account. So uh, from default, you don't have any bank accounts linked, obviously, but if you want to go ahead and do that, you can click on bank management. And then once you link a bank account, they will be shown here and you can unhook those bank accounts by clicking these red X's and that will remove them from the system. So you won't be able to import from them. Um, or you can just, uh, if you want to add them, just click link your bank account and then you're going to go ahead and select your bank. If you don't see it on the top here, you can go ahead and search it. So maybe your Wells Fargo or maybe your Bank of America. And so you're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to communicate with your bank. You put your credentials in and this will go ahead and log you in and then spit you back over to pay the pool man and show that the account is linked. Um, once the account is linked, it'll show like this. And then to go ahead and import those transactions, you could just go to your expense list and then click the download bank transactions. So uh, if you have multiple accounts that you want to import from, you'll go ahead and select the, the correct one and then put the date range that you want to import it from, click get transactions It'll take a second and then they'll all have these red boxes for all your bank transactions, right? And so uh, now you can go through and you can quickly just start going through those ones, right? So we really try to make it very easy for you to go through your expenses very quickly and then they manage it properly. Thank you very much and have a great day.